If you're wondering why I'm wearing a boa, Mardi Gras beads, a cape, a mask, and a crazy hat, I'm trying to make up for all the relay laps we didn't dress up for. <laughs> Wait, that was all of them. <laughs> My bad. Making a video. For me? For myself? I'm gonna plug you in. <laughs> that sounds like a really bad, like. Ow, I just tripped. That sounds like a really bad, like, pickup line. Like, I'm gonna plug you in. I think I wanna put those beads back on. They made me feel special. So, you're talking about all the books that you want to read this summer. And I thought I would show you the books that I want to read this summer. Even though chances are I probably won't read um, any of them. But, let's see how many I have. Ink Death. Because I have been trying to read this book for months and it's just not happening. I'm only on page 12. A Little Bit Wicked by Kristen Chenoweth because I got it signed and we met her and I want to read it. I also need to read Looking for Alaska because I still haven't and I feel like I just really need to because this is the only thing by him I haven't read. But really it's not my fault because we don't have a bookstore and I'm too lazy to go to the library. So it's really not my fault. Harry, A History by Melissa and Nelly because you got it for me. For my birthday and I really want to read it I don't have time for books <sighs> the glass castle it's like the memoirs of this lady who um, had like a really rough childhood her parents were like drunk and crazy to tell us her story of her life she actually came to my college and did like a talk but I never finished the book this was supposed to be my summer reading and I really enjoyed it but then the semester was starting and I found out I didn't have to read it because I was taking an online course instead of the real course. And I didn't need it. And I decided that I wasn't going to finish it. But it was really good what I did read. The Historian. I don't even know what this is about. I think it's about like a vampire or something. But I heard it was really good and it looks big and nice. So I bought it one day and I should probably read it. Muggles and Magic. Do you remember this book that was in the Harry Potter section? Every time we went in Booksmith, when we had Booksmith. <sighs> I miss Booksmith. This book was always there, and then I got this for my birthday, and I thought I should really read it. Hills of Beetle the Bard. I have two versions of it, too, and I should read it. One of them, at least. I haven't. Innocent Traitor. It's about Lady Jane Grey. And I was like, oh my god, the gray lady. So I bought it in London. And I haven't read it. Story of my life. I liked a couple of Nicholas Sparks books. And even though they all have the same plot, I, I still love like all of them. And Gina made me borrow these to read them. But I haven't read any of them. I read like the first chapter of one of them. And then I just didn't. You know what else I need to read? Very badly. By July. This series right here, okay? I need to read it, especially since I've only read Deathly Hallows once, because I haven't had the courage to read it again since then. And I'm not just going to jump into Deathly Hallows because I can't do that. I would probably kill myself if I just read Deathly Hallows by itself. I need to read the whole series to ease my way in, you know? I have a feeling I'm only going to get through a few. I'll probably be able to read most of Harry Potter because... Harry Potter is different than regular books for me, like, I kind of like, I don't know, I feel like it's in my brain already, like, to read that it takes no effort at all, no time, like, I just open the book and like, I'm done. Woo, Harry Potter! Anyway, I think that your idea of a book critiquing YouTube page would be fun. Just don't give away any spoilers. This video sucks. Volpe 
a lot. Look at my Molio clown. He's so cute. I love him. Hi. My arms are too little to wave. But I can wave my feet. Because they're humongous. And you know what that means. I need a life, I think. <laughs> See you later!